Hi, welcome to GitHub Tutorials. Okay, in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to use GitHub for your projects and uh, how to commit, rollback, pull request, everything you will uh, learn from here. So, you will uh, learn this GitHub with uh, real time examples. I will give you each and every details in this videos. And uh, from this videos, you will learn that uh, how to use GitHub and how to create the repository, how to commit changes, how to roll back the changes, and uh, how it is using as a version controls. So how uh, how to use in Eclipse and uh, how to create the projects and repositories. Okay. So what is the flow of GitHub? So everything you will uh, learn from here. So let me start this tutorial. This is the introduction part. Okay. So what is the GitHub actually? So GitHub is a source code hosting platform. So for function control means version control means you have a one repository. So where all the developers are, whether the testers we have developed with the Selenium and they are using with Java, Python. So every everyone can be used GitHub. So which is a central repository. So what is the meaning of central repository means it is having a one server where all the users are accessing at a time and uh, they are changing they are doing saving those uh, codes in the version controller. So what is the use of version controller means so whenever you are doing any changes in a repos repository central repository one version number will be created for that changes with the comments what are the comments you have given everything will be displayed in the version control so that you can see the code will be very safe in a very safe manner so if you want to ch check out I means so if you want to take old version source code so that you can take and you can verify with the new version source code so by this you can easy to identify the if you have done, done any changes any mistakes in the code so that you can use that code and uh, in order to fix the defects in your applications or anything so we need, you need to use version control definitely if you are a developer or if you are a tester so if you are anything you have you should use version control so why because so when i am working with my projects we are saving the projects from last five years in a version controllers okay by this what is the use means whenever one person is joining in the company if you are particular one person is leaving so he has to transfer the kt knowledge transfer to the new person in case there is no chance of transferring the knowledge from uh, experienced employees to the new joiners then they will give you this version controller access from there they will give you each and every project details so like this it is very useful so that's why most of the people are using this github so why they are using means most of the employees see you and other employees are work together on projects from anywhere you can work whether it could be from office whether it could be from home work from home whether it could be from any countries so you are giving the username and password so that you can changes take the changes from version controller whether any team member has changes deep changes in your code so they have changed anything you can take the controller help of a version controller and take the code from source code from version controller so that you can uh, verify what are the changes they have done with your previous version so git is a version control system we have discussed so it is an open source so it is an open source as well as it is an licensed so as per uh, git uh, they are giving some licenses like uh, organizations businesses individual personal like they are giving the one portal so which is deployed in your server so as per your deployed uh, deployed in server that url will be given by the help of the server ip address so domain name so by this you can access your git based on username password they will give you admin access 
and the user access everything they will give you and you can create the what are the changes you are doing you can commit the changes in your server itself only okay and started by linus trowalls which is a person who is created the linux okay that person started this github open source project and the git is a central repository we have discussed right and uh, git is a command line tool you can use commit the changes in using command line tool as well as git gui so i will show you what is the gui in uh, next lesson and uh, uh, we will uh, create the repositories and uh, we will uh, commit the changes uh, pull the request everything we will do so what are the actions we can do in github create the repository you can create the repository and uh, clone repository to local machines so in that uh, repository only you have to create the projects otherwise you will not uh, get a option to commit the changes to your git uh, server okay so we can pull the data from the repository if you already somebody did the changes in uh, git uh, version control server okay so you want to take the projects from the git you can uh, use the pull command git pull you can have to use that uh, repository then every details will be comes into that particular location where you are putting pulling the repositories data initialize you can initialize the git uh, and you can check the status like git status you can commit the changes uh, with uh, providing the comments and you can roll back the status what are the changes you have done you can roll back and uh, you can uh, download uh, git from git url okay in the next lesson we will see how to download git in your windows machine okay how to set up git bash okay and uh, how you can use git bash as well as it will download git uh, github like see i will show you after installing the git and the git bash it will uh, give you these details git bash git cmd git gui okay this bash and cmd looking same okay git gui it will is give instead of using command line tool i have discussed right command line tool you can use gui also you can use gui graphical user interface to commit your changes and roll back everything you can do okay yeah next lesson uh, you can see how to install github in windows just you have to install you need to register into github and uh, you have to create the new repository and uh, you need to install github okay git bash sorry okay yeah thank you thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos please provide your valuable comments okay thank you